For much of the late 20th century, China's military aviation industry was seen as a follower. Trailing behind global leaders, aircraft like the J-7 and J-8 were largely based on copied designs. While combat capabilities heavily relied on imported Su-27 jets from Russia or engines and components from Ukraine, this was an era of dependence where carving out a unique identity in military aviation technology proved challenging. The turning point came with the launch of the Made in China 2025 strategy, which aimed to position China's defense and aerospace industries among the world's most advanced. In 2024, the defense budget reached nearly 314 billion United States dollars, with a significant portion allocated to research and development for next generation aircraft, engines, uh, radars, and smart weapons. At the same time, conglomerates like AVIC, Chengdu, and Shenyang were integrated into a cohesive network linking research institutes and universities, dramatically shortening the journey from concept to prototype. The J-10, unveiled in the late 1990s, marked the first sign of maturity. This domestically designed multi-role fighter demonstrated China's ability to innovate rather than merely replicate. The true leap forward arrived in 2011 with the first test flight of the J-20, a fifth-generation stealth fighter. Just a few years later, the J-20 entered service, showcasing an astonishingly rapid development timeline. For a nation once considered a technological underdog, producing a large-scale stealth fighter drew global attention. What sets China apart is its holistic approach. While many nations struggle with cost overruns or delayed timelines, China leverages its vast domestic supply chain, low production costs, and centralized coordination. This foundation has enabled the country to close the technological gap with the United States and Europe at an unprecedented pace. More significantly, the mindset has shifted. China is no longer just chasing established standards. It's actively shaping new ones. The era of Chinese military aviation isn't just about building a few cutting edge aircraft. It's about creating a comprehensive blueprint that integrates funding, industry, oh, science, and military doctrine. This transformation from apprentice to rule maker has begun, laying the groundwork for the race to sixth generation aviation in the future. China's advancements in fifth generation fighter jets have laid a critical foundation for its ambition to dominate the skies. The J-20, first unveiled in 2011, stands as the most striking symbol of this transformation. This large-scale stealth fighter combines significant weapon payload capacity with cutting-edge radar and avionics systems. By 2025, China has commissioned over 200 J-20 aircraft, making it the world's second-largest stealth fighter fleet. Trailing only the United States F-35, the J-20 represents a clear shift in approach. It's not just about stealth design, but also about integrating advanced technologies like the active electronically scanned array radar, sophisticated data linking systems, and the PL-15 long-range air-to-air -air missile, with an estimated range exceeding 124 miles. This enables the J-20 to excel not only in close-range combat, but also in beyond visual range engagements, where early detection and weapon range are decisive factors. Alongside the J-20, China has invested heavily in the J-35, a naval stealth fighter publicly showcased during a 2025 military parade, the J-35 is designed for China's next generation aircraft carriers, sharing similarities with the United States F-35C. Its ability to operate from carrier decks, carry a diverse array of weapons, and incorporate advanced sensor systems makes the J-35 a vital component of China's strategy to expand its maritime power. These two aircraft carry not only technical significance, but also strategic weight. The emergence of the J-20 and J-35 demonstrates that China has moved beyond dependency, achieving the capability to mass produce stealth fighters, a feat only a handful of nations can accomplish. This milestone also sets the stage for sixth generation advancements, which will demand the integration of artificial intelligence, fused sensor systems, and networked unmanned vehicle coordination, all building on the robust technological foundation established by these fifth generation jets. The J-20 and J-35 are thus seen as launch pads proving China's current capabilities while paving the way for its ambition to shape the future of aerial warfare. With large-scale production, lower costs, and centralized coordination, China is demonstrating that it can not only build cutting-edge aircraft, but also deploy them on a strategic scale.
After solidifying its position with the J-20 and J-35, China is setting its sights on a far more ambitious goal, sixth-generation fighter jets. This concept goes beyond a mere upgrade, representing a complete overhaul in how air power is defined. While fifth-generation fighters emphasize stealth and beyond visual range combat, sixth-generation jets are expected to integrate deeper stealth capabilities, fused sensor systems, artificial intelligence, control of unmanned aircraft formations, and operations in high-intensity electronic warfare environments. Leaked images in recent years reveal that China is exploring a tailless design for its sixth-generation projects, a feature common in global efforts for this generation. This design optimizes stealth against radar detection while enhancing aerodynamics for long-range missions. Although no official confirmation has been made, observers speculate that the prototype possibly designated J-36 or J-50 will combine advanced new engines, cutting-edge avionics, and integration of hypersonic weapons. China makes no secret of its ambition to leapfrog in this race. While the United States develops its next-generation air dominance program, slated for operation around 2035, Beijing aims to accelerate its timeline, targeting a prototype unveiling before 2030. If achieved, this would provide a critical time advantage, enabling China to deploy a suite of new technologies earlier and strengthen its position in the global balance of air power. China's sixth-generation design philosophy extends beyond a single aircraft. Reports and documents indicate a vision for a combat air system, a comprehensive air warfare ecosystem. In this system, manned fighters serve as the central hub, coordinating swarms of unmanned aircraft, linking with satellites, ground-based radars, and electronic warfare platforms. This approach introduces a new paradigm of air combat, where networked coordination outweighs the performance of individual fighters. The emergence of leaked images, glimpses at aviation exhibitions, and massive investments from China's defense budget underscore its lofty goal. Not just to keep pace, but to potentially lead the sixth generation race. This is a strategic, long-term move to establish a new standard in a field historically dominated by only a handful of nations. China is zeroing in on three groundbreaking areas artificial intelligence, hypersonic weapons, and fused sensor systems. Artificial intelligence stands as the cornerstone. In modern air combat, decisions made in seconds can determine the outcome. China's projects aim to embed AI directly into the cockpit, assisting pilots in processing vast streams of sensor data, suggesting tactical options, and even controlling a swarm of accompanying unmanned aircraft. Prototype AI cockpit assistants have reportedly been tested in upgraded versions of the J-20, evaluating their responsiveness in simulated electronic warfare environments. Meanwhile, hypersonic weapons are a top priority. Missiles exceeding Mach 5 speeds are not only nearly impossible to intercept, but also unlock new long-range strike strategies. China has tested several air-launched hypersonic missiles, with the YJ-21 and DF-17 standing out as prime examples. When integrated into sixth-generation fighters, these weapons could enable strikes on targets thousands of miles away in mere minutes, creating a deterrent advantage that few current defense systems can counter. Fused sensor technology is also receiving significant investment. Instead of pilots manually processing data from radar, infrared, data links, or electronic sensors, fused systems will synthesize and present the most intuitive battlefield picture. This not only lightens the pilot's workload, but also enables seamless connectivity with other platforms from satellites to ground-based defense systems, forming a comprehensive information wall. Crucially, the synergy of AI, hypersonic weapons, and fused sensor signals a shift from standalone fighter jets to smart combat network nodes. China recognizes that superiority no longer lies solely in aerodynamics or engines, but in how aircraft interact within a multidimensional warfare ecosystem. With annual investments reaching hundreds of billions of United States dollars, accelerating these technologies isn't just about keeping pace with the United States or Europe, it's about setting new benchmarks. As these technologies converge, China's sixth-generation fighters will move beyond experimental concepts, potentially becoming the defining weapons of the future skies. In its military aviation strategy, China is not only developing next-generation fighter jets, but also constructing a vast ecosystem of unmanned aerial vehicles. The core idea is to transform UAVs into extensions of manned aircraft, 
forming a coordinated combat network. In recent years, several UAV models have been unveiled. From heavy stealth drones like the GJ-11 to multi-role platforms such as the FH-97A and CH-7. Their common trait is versatility beyond reconnaissance. These drones are equipped to carry weapons, conduct electronic jamming, and support formations. The loyal wingman concept UAVs operating alongside sixth-generation fighters is emerging as a central focus. The advantages of this approach are clear. First, UAVs can undertake high-risk missions, such as deep penetration or engaging enemy air defenses, reducing danger to human pilots. Second, they expand the scope of sensors and firepower, enabling pilots to control multiple platforms simultaneously to form a combat cloud. This shifts the reliance from a single aircraft to a distributed, significantly amplified force. China also leverages its large-scale manufacturing capabilities to produce UAVs at a fraction of the cost of traditional fighters. By scaling up production, a strategy of quantity-enhancing capability becomes effective, particularly in scenarios requiring overwhelming, multi-directional attacks. In parallel, artificial intelligence is integrated to enable UAVs to operate with a degree of autonomy, such as autonomously striking designated targets or maintaining combat formations. This is a critical step in reducing pilot workload and transforming entire formations into semi-autonomous systems. The UAV ecosystem reflects a major shift in thinking, moving away from viewing fighters as the sole centerpiece to positioning them as the core of a network system. Each UAV can play a distinct role reconnaissance, attack, jamming, or decoy, but together. They create a synergistic force far greater than the sum of its parts. Through this approach, China is not only catching up with global trends, but also aiming to lead, setting new standards for air warfare. China views its defense industry as the backbone for achieving leadership in next-generation fighter jets. This highly centralized, self-contained, and rapidly scalable system provides clear advantages in development speed and cost efficiency compared to many other nations. The Aviation Industry Corporation of China, or AVIC, serves as the hub of military aircraft production, coordinating dozens of research institutes, factories, and testing centers nationwide. This unified management model significantly shortens the timeline from design to mass production while reducing costs through large-scale operations. Rapid deployment capability is a key differentiator. While many countries require over a decade to transition a prototype into a combat-ready product, China often completes this cycle in just three to five years. Its parallelization strategy simultaneously conducting research, prototype production, and assembly line improvements save substantial time and resources. Another advantage lies in production costs. The J-20 is estimated to cost less than the United States F-35 while still meeting many advanced technical standards. This cost advantage grows even more significant with unmanned aerial vehicles, enabling China to expand exports and strengthen its position in the global market. The domestic supply chain plays a pivotal role. China has heavily invested in jet engines, composite materials, active electronically scanned array radars, and avionics, reducing reliance on imports and ensuring production stability. This supports consistent progress across domestic needs and export demands. Additionally, China's military civil fusion model is widely applied. Technologies like artificial intelligence, processing chips, and lightweight materials are developed for both civilian and military use. This approach not only lowers research and development costs, but also generates profits for reinvestment into defense. In summary, China's centralized and large-scale defense industry is a critical foundation for turning its sixth-generation fighter ambitions into reality. With a streamlined supply chain, optimized costs, and exceptional deployment speed, China is carving out a distinct competitive edge in the global military aviation race. China's ascent in the realm of next-generation fighter jets is not merely a technical achievement, but a catalyst for shifts in global strategic balance. Beijing's investment of hundreds of billions of United States dollars annually into military aviation research and production exerts significant pressure on the United States and its allies, who are pursuing their own sixth-generation programs like Next Generation Air Dominance and Tempest. The first impact is felt in the Asia-Pacific region. The presence of sixth-generation fighters equipped with stealth capabilities, integrated unmanned aerial vehicles, 
and hypersonic weapons will reshape defense strategies across the region. Japan, South Korea, and India have all announced plans to upgrade their air forces, while Australia is deepening cooperation through the AUKUS framework. On a broader scale, China's success establishes a new benchmark for cost and deployment speed. While programs in the United States and Europe often face delays due to budget overruns, China's centralized production model delivers advanced fighters at lower costs, creating appeal in the export market. This could directly influence nations in Africa, the Middle East, or South America, where demand for modern yet cost-effective defense solutions is growing. Beyond economics, technology is a key factor. China's demonstrated ability to integrate artificial intelligence, fuse sensors, and combat unmanned aerial vehicles into a cohesive ecosystem pushes other nations to accelerate their own research. This technological competition extends beyond military applications, spilling over into civilian aviation, advanced materials, and semiconductor technologies. China's strategic influence also manifests through soft power, successfully exporting aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicle systems to international partners. Paired with training and technology transfer agreements, strengthens bilateral ties and expands China's defense diplomacy network. This enhances its presence in strategically significant regions. In summary, China's advancements in sixth-generation fighters not only bolster its domestic defense capabilities, but also redefine the global structure of military air power. This presents both a challenge and an opportunity, compelling other major powers to adapt swiftly to maintain their edge, While fifth-generation fighters are still being refined and deployed, sixth-generation aircraft have become the focal point of global competition. China, the United States, and Europe are all pursuing fighters with comprehensive stealth, integrated artificial intelligence, control of accompanying unmanned aerial vehicles, and hypersonic weaponry. For China, the priority in the coming years is to demonstrate combat readiness and mass production capability. Reports indicate Beijing is targeting deployment by the end of this decade, leaving just a few years to finalize testing, upgrade engines, and develop next-generation avionics. Success at this milestone would position China among the first nations to operate sixth-generation fighters. The United States currently holds an edge in core technology research, particularly in advanced jet engines and directed energy weapons. However, prolonged development cycles and high costs often disrupt progress. Meanwhile, Europe's Tempest and future combat air system programs emphasize multinational collaboration, but shared budgets and technology transfers slow their timelines. This creates an opening for China to capitalize on its advantages in speed and production scale. In the future landscape, the key isn't just possessing the most advanced fighters, but maintaining enough of them for practical deployment. China is developing a model that pairs sixth generation fighters with a network of low-cost unmanned aerial vehicles, creating a force density advantage. This could set it apart from the United States and Europe's focus on fewer but highly advanced systems. The long-term impact lies in shaping technological standards. If China succeeds in integrating artificial intelligence, fused sensor systems, and mass production, these benchmarks will ripple globally, forcing other nations to adapt their strategies. The sixth-generation race is thus not only a military contest, but a competition to define the future of global aviation. The race for advanced fighter jets promises many surprises in the years to come. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe to stay updated on the latest analyses of technology, national strategies, and groundbreaking innovations. Top 10 Discoveries official will return with untold stories, boundary-pushing projects, and quiet revolutions with global impact. See you in the next video.